Hey there, and welcome to The Final Wager. One of the ways I spent my weekend was taking a little time to program my wagering calculator, which should now spit out whatever text I need for my website, which will save me some time. And the other thing I spent my time doing over the weekend was getting sick, so I hope you'll bear with me at least tonight and uh, maybe the next few days as I wheeze and sniffle and <clears throat> uh, clear my throat through the wagers. So I got triple R's today, which uh, must have been fun for Alex, trying to keep them all straight. We got Rex, our rocket scientist in the lead with 10,800. Rooks, Alicia in second with 10,400. And Ryan, our two-time defending champion in third with 7,400. It's been three weeks since we've had a three-day champ. He might do it tonight if he gets some help. So let's start with first and second. If second doubles up, Rooks doubles up, she'll have... Uh, 20,800. So we get above that. Rex will need to wager 10,000. Remember, we'll save those additional dollars to the end. If Rex misses with that. He'll have uh, 800, so a lot of leeway for both Rooks and Ryan. Rooks can wager up to 9,600. And Ryan can wager up to 6,600. Now, what happens if Ryan doubles up? He doubles up, he's going to have 14.8, so for Rooks to cover that, she'll need to wager 4,400. And for Rex, that's going to be 4,000. So that's a, uh, that's a questionable one, I'll put that over here, brackets. If uh, Rooks misses, she'll be left with uh, 6,000. So to say above that, Ryan can wager up to 1,400. All right, and if for some reason he thinks Ryan thinks that Rex is going to go for this, uh, with that wager he's going to be left with uh, 6,800. So Ryan can wager up to 600. We'll put that one in brackets too, because that's also that's a response to a questionable wager. All right, now we're going to look at some mind games. I'm going to bring out a different color. I've chosen brown today. So this is now going to be the second order of wagering. What? each of these players could do in response to a rational wager from someone else. So we'll start with first and second again. The maximum that Rooks can wager against Rex is 9,600, so if she does so, she's going to have 20 even. So if Rex wants to cover that, he can wager 9,200. He's wrong with that. He'll be left with 1,600. So to stay above that, Rooks could uh, cap her wager instead at 8,800. And Ryan could cap his at 5,800. I'm running out of room with Ryan here. We've got a lot of maximum wager options. So we've done this one. Now let's look at uh, the 6,600. Actually, I'd say the 1,400 is more likely, so we'll start there. If he's right with that wager, he's going to have 8,800. So Rooks could wager up to 1,600, and uh, I'll put that down here, and Rex up to 2,000. I'm going to put that over here. <clears throat> and now for that 6,600 amount, which, you know, it's so close to 7,400, I wouldn't be too concerned about it, but we could look at it anyway, 14,000. And to cover that, Rooks would want to wager... Um, 3,600 and Rex 3,200, but that, you might, if you're going to cover a 6,600 wager, you might as well cover a 7,400 wager. Okay, so now we have our uh, first and second orders of wagers, and we'll come through now, and I'll grab one more color to cover the zero wagers. So, we go through, and uh, first of all, I would say that Rooks doesn't want to do this, she'll want to just cap it at 8,800, so these two will be paired. Uh, Rex might as well just go for the lockout. Difference between Ryan and Rooks is 3,000, so we'll put that here with this wager. To cover Rex, it's going to be 3,400, so I'll do that. She, uh, Ryan can't safely cover 
Unsafe Wagers by Rex, but by Rooks, 6,000. We'll do the trick. And uh, Rooks can cover a zero wager by Rex with a 400 wager. And might as well go for 800 to be safe. On the downside, uh, she won't want to fall below the <clears throat> uh, 3,000. We That should be fine. Uh, Rex, if he wants to stay small for some reason, he could wager up to 400. If he wants to stay above Ryan for sure, up to <clears throat> uh, 3,400. We've already got that covered with the 2,000. Uh, so a lot of options here for everybody. And we'll add a dollar to each of the minimum wagers and subtract a dollar from each of the maximum wagers. As it turns out, Ryan missed this one and wagered everything. Don't really like that wager. Don't see a reason for it. Rooks got it right. Another R response, the Raven. And wagered 8,012. That's a pretty good wager. And Rex missed and uh, wagered a KG $13, which is why you cover zero wager, and then you cover that unsafe wager if you possibly can. So we'll have Rooks back tomorrow, and uh, she'll be looking to start a streak of her own. Look for the new tutorial this week, um, assuming my sinuses clear up and I can actually record something without sounding like God knows what. I hope to have that available for you. If not, happy Hanukkah, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow on the final wager.